Hello everybody and welcome to the World Cup second round match between Darun and Torre 3005. They're both PS4 coaches, but Darun qualified through PC and he's won the toss, chosen to receive with his, his orcs. Um, Darun, yeah, qualified from ICBBL on PC. He's got a 59% win rate in Champs Ladder, but 64 with orcs. And Torre 3005 doesn't play Champs Ladder and has the Chorfs. Uh, Torre 3005 has a Claw Mino, which seems a very good idea for this game. Um, that's what he chose his, he uses double on. The run's made a Kaz, a death <laughs> on his mighty Bow Blitz. Apple works. So actually, you know, a con bit of a controversy, he's only got 11 players, but you know, it's a, that's a tough one, isn't it? Turn one, a death. Only 50 50 to work. Do you use your apple? He did use his apple and it did work. Um, Darun just gave more guard. So, you know, so this this is the thing the orcs can. You know, as the orcs progress, they'll get more and more guard and they'll look more and more like a, like a decent team. It's only early with four skills, they look terrible. Um, the chaffs, I think, will always look a bit crap. But <laughs> if his claw minor does things, he's got a boat down. We got a KO. <laughs> um, yeah, not the best turn ever. Now he could either go for a bull centaur, or he could go for the bull centaur. I think I'd go for the bull centaur here. <laughs> I think, I, should, I think you should make this block first because then if you've got a pal, you could chain the uh, chore for another hit and another hit. But the pal's in both anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And gets another cast, oh my god. So that's probably no chance of defending now for Torre 3005. Probably no chance of defending this drive. Down two players. Armor 9. Good job he chose reliable Armor 9, isn't it? And, um. <laughs> And yeah, not only is he not only is he probably not going to be able to defend this drive, um, he's you know he's going to get hits on the. Uh, I don't like that. I think he should keep keep him based up. He's going to give up hits on these uh, hobgoblins probably, isn't he, for a mighty blow? So yeah, this is about as bad a start as you could get. Wow, one assist foul from Drew. I don't like that at all. I want two assists. Don't like that foul, there was no need. Well, this is just my opinion, of course. I don't like really well. I enjoy fouling, but I don't think it's a good strategy. He's, he's down a player already with a KO. That KO could have stayed out. So, I mean, I don't know if it does or not. I didn't see it live, but when you've potentially only got 11 for this in the next half, I think it's a bit wild. A bit wild to go for, I think. I mean, maybe he's hoping to to tilt Torre 3005 into the next dimension, but yeah, it seemed an incredibly greedy foul. But on the other hand, the Claw Mino, Mino, the, the Claw Mighty Blow Mino is basically the only chance the Torre 3005 has got of doing anything, so why not go for it? So, you know, it's, it's definitely not wrong to do it. I just don't think fouling is that good in general. Well, it's high risk, isn't it? It's high risk. That's the best way to describe it. I think once you've made two cars on the first turn. Oh, wow. It's a bit weird because he could have just blissed with a mighty blow guy, couldn't he? Could have one, two, three, four, five. And then he would have had a mighty blow hit. As it happened, he would have, he would have bowed down anyway. Um, he's got a bit too side. I don't like this really. Shades of sage here with this, you know, not not as crazy as sage, but it's only turn three. There's no need to do this kind of such a heavy commit to the sideline, especially with a frenzy guy around. Nice, nice blitz direction to keep the mino safe afterwards as well. I like that. 
He really needs the claw mino to go crazy, otherwise he's gonna lose, isn't he? I mean, he probably needed that anyway, but with two cards. He absolutely reliant on the mino, having a blinder from here on out. And he's made a KO, which is would have been good if he hadn't taken two cars. <laughs> Yeah, Daruna's uh, basically just like randomly pinned himself to the sideline. It suddenly seems like he's got no players, is he, after he got sent off there? Huh? I like hitting the defenseless bull. Sound like a matador. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> only, re only referring to the fictional bull centaur there. So yeah, a bit like the other game, Duran has now suddenly got his balls a bit exposed. Mm, like a little bit. I don't know, this is uh definitely seems to have given Torre three thousand five a way back in that he just didn't need to. And if you've got a pal there. He'd be looking at one dice on the ball, wouldn't he, with a double GF So he just smashes. Smashes with Claw Mino. Oh, double score. Oh, God. Well, the Mino won't be having a blinder. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's pretty lucky, isn't it? I mean, there was no real way. I guess he could have blitzed him on three dice, but, you know. It was got much more value from blitzing on two dice. And boy did he pay the price. Wow, that's brutal. Oh man. That's basically it for uh Tory 3005 there, I think, isn't it? Wow. Wow. Yet another absolute dicing that someone's had to endure. Three cars in four turns. And, you know, okay, the apples worked on one, but wow. That is absolute brutality. And another rare beat break. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. Two dice in the ball, isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Either blocks him or just hopes he rolls one four plus. I think I would have gone for the dodge out because he's, he's, he's got break tackle. So if you make the first dodge, 50 50, you've still got break tackle for the second dodge. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh no, I, did it. I didn't count the 3 to stand up. <laughs> Disregard. Disregard that statement. Um, no, blitzing there is all he could do then. <laughs> it's not easy, it's not easy, you know. Uh, there's very little time between the uh, looking at the board state and actions happening. So, not hang with Mighty Blows, you must be Mighty Blow blitzing the bull, I would imagine. It's the only reason for not, not hitting with Mighty Blow there. Gets the power that he kind of needed, really, with this bit of a wild cage again. Durun is not, you know, he's he's not the safest player in the world, is he? Um, to say to say he's three men up, well, he's not actually three men up. He's only one man up, isn't he? Actually, yeah, he got this guy sent off and he's taken a kill. So although Tori is three men down, to be fair, he runs two men down as well. So it's not it's not all over, but. Could have done a one dice ball on the one dice ball on the block. One dice blitz on the ball there, couldn't he? Could have done. Three, four, five, six GFI. Maybe better plays as well. Yeah, he's playing it playing it pretty loose as uh to run here. But yeah, to be fair he's not up three players like I thought he was. It's 
making some blocks, but I mean this is uh, at least he's at least he's remembered about the break tackle this time. It's right, I wouldn't hit. I'll tell you what I wouldn't hate here. An uphill block in a break tackle 2D on the ball. Um I can one dice it even better. Well, that's exactly that's he saw exactly the same as me there, didn't he? And he's, uh, if you've got the power, he could have done another one dice instead of the dodge. And he gets the dodge away, and he gets the power. Well done, only one turn left. Oh wow. Oh, he didn't just base him, he wanted to get in front. Wow, that's... Uh, I think maybe he could have just based and then... Oh, no, he couldn't stand these guys up, so... He was a bit screwed anyway, really. A little bit of greed from the run here, but... Gets him a Kaz. That's the thing, isn't it? Getting the hit... Hit Hobgoblins, that was the problem with going so many men down. And it's the problem with an 11-man roster as well, to be fair. It's, uh, it's not the best, is it? 11-man roster. And you've got armor seven and you're a bash team. Good job he made it with the uh, blitzer and not the black orc. He's thinking thinking of twice about another block of him. So yeah, e easy drive for the run there, wasn't it really? All the removals and He made it close with his failed his failed uh, foul. He gets the black orc back, so he's got eleven for the second half. And only eight. Victoria 3005, and Messi makes some removals on the LOS here. So yeah, looking looking horrible for him now, isn't it? Wow. Another argument. Another argument for Wood Elves here, isn't it, this game? You know, because Dwar Chaos Dwarves here, down these three players, there's 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 just nothing they can do. <laughs> so Yeah. Can block some guys, sure. Might get lucky with cars. But it's just rolling the dice, isn't it? There's no way really for Tori 3005 to play himself out of this. All he can do is is hope he rolls well and then wins. Making a foul. Bit of a frustration foul, I guess. Um, we've all done them and you know it's not even wrong because at this point the only way you can get back into the game is by getting really lucky so by going for a foul there maybe he kills the black orc and uh, and you know he's only two men down then for the second half so it's not even about it's a better foul than the runs I think and it probably it probably was just sheer frustration but that's the thing that fouling is like high risk high reward and uh, Although it's unlikely to be high reward. <laughs> it's mostly just high risk. Um, this is the time where you've got to do that, isn't it? And you've got five dwarves, two bulls and a hobgoblin. Wow. I'd be half tempted just to put, you know, all the strength four on the LOS here if I was to run. Just four black hawks straight up. Maybe even the Lionels as well. Darun gets an extra reroll because that's what he needs. Also, because Darun won the toss and got to receive, it means he's kicking. So even if it goes to overtime, you know, it's a, I think it's a huge advantage receiving at the start of the game in a bash mirror. Because now if it goes to overtime, Defense doesn't have to use their rerolls to stop this score. They can, they can, they've got four rerolls. But Tory three thousand and five still got to use rerolls to protect the ball and stuff. So it's a huge advantage on rerolls going into the possibility of overtime. Massive advantage having received in the first half, as well as just you know having the uh, 
having the initiative to start the match, as he did with like three cars in three turns. So yeah, huge huge advantage, winning the coin toss to start the match, and and making a bunch of random cars. So well done, well done, Darun for that. Now surely he's just going to hope dirt base base base. It seems like he can't lose from just basing. Yeah. Should have moved that first, shouldn't he? Safe moves first. So not only is he uh, is Toro three thousand and five down the way it plays, he's also taken a bull sent or out of the fight to carry. So he's going to find it very tough to protect the ball. Does get a KO though? Uh, quite a huge KO as well. Ah, he doesn't get a KO. Good, good apple, good apple from the run. I mean, Darun has got his foot on his neck at the moment, hasn't he? He's just got to not let it up, so... I like that apple for sure. Classic Dwarf one dicer. Yeah, I'm not sure I like this pushing them... Well, they're not occupying. I mean, he probably is going to just stand him up and move him forward one anyway, but. I'm not a big fan of that. But Darud is not doing safe moves first, so maybe by pushing them there, it, you know, maybe if he was base, he would have stood him up straight away, but because he wasn't, he didn't, maybe. So maybe it is a good strategy to not always keep up the base from blocks. It takes a lot of knocking down this bull sent mode, doesn't it? He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? So maybe he's just going to GFI, GFI blitz. In which case, pushing him and not following was definitely the right play. Oh, gets a reroll. I don't... Um, it's a tough one, because actually, leaving him... Exposed down the side there was really bad. Maybe just moving him in was best. Because that that kind of re-roll and two dice block was when he really wanted a re-roll. Because if he if he won rolls a one there, he's got a bit of space to move forward, hasn't he? Just in guard is a decent skill. Oh, another double skull. Second double skulls of the match. And he's just got to eat that because he's only got two rerolls. I mean, best he can get is overtime now, isn't it? Torre 3005. Best he can hope for is overtime. Whereas Daron will obviously he just keeps he just keeps pushing this bull centre around. Daron really has to uh has to hope for a normal time win here, absolutely. I mean He's completely battered the uh, chalk team in the first half. Now he's threatening the ball a little bit. I like that, just tagging him. No uphill to free him from a, from a chalk blocker. Now the block actually, I think that block wasn't so good because the push was pretty bad. Now he can uphill block and then he can 2D. Now 1D. So he can free him now, whereas I think he was he was a lot less free by not making that block. I mean nitpicking, you know, at the end of the day. Dura obviously at this point in time feeling pretty good about himself. Um you know, probably thinks he's got it in the bag. Torre 3005 probably given up by the same token already, so. You know, 
Wow, lucky cars. He's got half a chance now. How the drones last two? Drone did have 12 though, so it's 8 versus 10 in favour of the orcs. Oh, oh. Dirty one dicer. He knocks down the uh he knocks down the ball centre, or he should have shot two dice in the ball here, shouldn't he? Well, uh, probably might not be able to reach. Yeah, he can reach. Nice, nicely worked by Darun, using the business. No, no, he's not. <laughs> um, this guy could have come around here, couldn't he, for a two dice in the ball? That, uh, that blitzer. So I was going to say nicely worked for a two dice on the ball, but he doesn't. He just draws a one dice and gets a pal anyway. Classic. Classic to run. <laughs> but it would have been a nicely worked 2D on the ball. Um, as it is, it's just... It's pretty hard to beat off in the plus one strength as well, isn't it? And that's the thing, you know. You know, good blood ball is getting an assist in to make it two dice. But better blood ball is not having to allocate the resources for a two dice and rolling a power anyway, isn't it? So <laughs> This has given him a slight breakaway, isn't it? Four, five, oh, he hasn't gone for it. Four, five, six, GFI, GFI hand up and then run away. I think that would have been the best, best chance he would have got in the game. But now, now everything's collapsing, isn't it? Looking really rough for the chops. Not blitzing with my blow. Not even blitzing with blow. I mean, okay, it gets him a, an extra player free. But, you know, this guy, I just come down and sit with him and got my blow. Probably wouldn't have made any difference. But, uh, there you go. the pick up and he's off. Oh, and he makes a GFI. Um, is this GFI relevant? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, not really. Not a super relevant GFI then. But, um, you know. The run went for it. Yeah, I guess he's got the double with the GFI. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I guess if he'd made both GFIs, he would have been safe from this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so if he'd made both, so that's why he went for the GFI if he'd made both. I guess Darun can one dice block, and if he makes it, he wins, doesn't he? One, two, oh, one, two. Oh, don't make a relevant block, Darun, what are you playing at? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we can make a two dice without block. <laughs> Which eats his reroll. But it was a good block to make, wasn't it? Because now this guy can come in for the assist. So that was one in nine, so to make the one in six. And now he can make the blitz with a mighty blow. Um, and it's a 1 in 36. And he gets the score to go 2-0 up. I mean, now, you just score here, don't you? Because there's literally no chance in hell of the Chof scoring 2. Right, well, I think he's stunned, so... He's stunned, so I guess once he's stunned, he might as well. But it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he just passes the turn. Scores. So there you go. Well, congrats to Darun. Um, you know he, he did some good things, Darun. 
he did he did a bit of sloppy things, but I think everyone plays so, sloppily when they're you know they're, when they're in such a dominant position. Um, and yeah, you know, commiserations to Tori three thousand and five. I don't think he really did. You know, I don't think he did anything wrong, did he? He just took a bunch of cards straight away, and it's it was just really hard to to do anything about it, really. Chance of a riot, but even then, you'd, you'd have to get up to one turn. Um, you would have had to one turn. Um, yeah, this is not by taking the blitz because it's over. You would have had to one turn and then get a riot. You'd have to get a riot and one turn to have done the thing, and it was, it was absolutely no chance. So, you know, fair enough, you're making the box. Why not? Um, but there was no. You know, it's, he knows it's his last turn in the World Cup, doesn't he? There was no need for to run to take the blitz or. Or even take turn 16. Um, whereas, you know, if Tori want, 3000 wants to play his last turn in the World Cup, then can't really begrudge him it. A turn 16 spike foul, why not? There's no. Kaz don't carry over, so go for it. Surely he'll just uh, pass the turn now. He's out for blood now that now that Torre three thousand didn't 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 skip the turn. He's not skipping his turn either. He's gonna make the turn sixteen good man is foul. And yeah, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say Drun didn't deserve it, but that that's the tale of the game, isn't it? Twice as many AV breaks. Um, more blocks, but he was up men, so he was able to make more. Four cars and three cars came in the first three turns, and that and that was basically it, wasn't it? Really, but you know, he he did make a nice move to get two dice on the ball, and but you know, it's easier. It is easier when you're up men all the time. Um, so yeah, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.